morning guys 6 30 in the morning and i thought i would show you guys a full day of eating i really enjoy watching those videos i like to see what other people come up with to eat to fit their macros so today it's my rest day so i think i might have some more fun foods today i wanted to show you guys what i'm having right now i'm having a cup of coffee with about a cup and a half of cashew milk and a good amount of stevia and i do actually track stevia whenever i put a bunch in my coffee so if it's like bits here and there i don't worry about it i don't worry about splenda but whenever i put a ton and i mean this is a lot in my coffee then i do track it and i'm making some pancakes for matt and i was thinking about doing some protein pancakes so I will show you guys what I decide to eat. Do you want one more? No. <laughs> I know we'll take it. You just <laughs> ate. You literally just finished eating your food. Ooh, yeah. Boom. Maybe I'll eat that one. Do those taste vegan? Uh, no. <laughs> it's just this mix, and then I used a tablespoon of vegetable oil. It calls for one cup of milk, so I use this one, which is really creamy. Then this Bob's Red Mill egg replacer. This is a great egg replacement and there's like three protein, two carbs, one fat. Yeah. So I am having this last pancake and I put a little bit of Walden Farm syrup on it and I equated it to about one third of the recipe. God, yours is already gone. <laughs> just kind of guesstimated. I'm not going to worry too much about it. So in this is just a scoop of this clean machine BCAAs, creatine, and a scoop of L-leucine, and that's what I drink throughout the day. Uh, every day, normally I drink a little bit more, but yeah. <laughs> got back from the grocery store going to be bringing the groceries in pretty good stuff today so all of this everything that I got I'm actually gonna make some taco soup tonight with all of these beans and the wonderful seasonings so I'm gonna show you guys that Matt did request some ramen noodles, and this is a um, non-animal product flavor. There's no like beef or chicken broth in here, so uh, Matt did request these. I know super, super healthy. These frozen rice packets, these are a dollar each, and there's, I usually get two or three servings out of them. Matt gets one or two. These are actually really, really convenient. Of course, you can make it in bulk a lot, uh, for a lot cheaper, but this is convenient. Frozen zucchini, this, this is my favorite to throw in the air fryer. I like it nice and crispy. This will be for the taco soup. Matt likes these hash browns. Pop them in the air fryer and they're delicious. These waffles, two waffles, 10 grams of protein. So not bad on macros. Coleslaw, which I'm gonna use for my lunch today. Got some tempeh with apples, some whole grain pasta that came free with this sauce. Broth for the soup, almond milk, 
protein nut milk, cashew milk, all different kinds of milks. I highly recommend, if you are not drinking plant milk yet, I highly recommend trying them. There's so many delicious flavors and varieties. The macros are all great. There's even ones with high protein, eight fat, four carb, 10 protein. So that's really, really good. Um, they're also a great source of calcium. As you can see, all of these are. Tofu, which I love, and these Boca patties. Oh, banana extract as well. I think I'm gonna add that to protein sludge sometime. $72.72. Not bad at all. Eating healthy and eating vegan does not have to be expensive, you guys. If you're buying a bunch of these products, it will get pricier. If you're buying a bunch of pre-packaged snack foods and bars and supplements, it will get expensive. But sticking to more simple whole foods, like these frozen zucchini, um, it can still be a lot cheaper. So buy in bulk, buy whole as much as possible, Let's get to, I need to get to work. I'm just having a really simple snack. Um, I'm still working right now and I don't have time to make my lunch yet, but this is just one bag of frozen zucchini that I cooked in the air fryer. You guys can see it's pretty crispy in some parts and I put some salt on it. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'll show you guys my lunch. Right now I'm making that taco soup that I was telling y'all about and I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna put into the soup and then I'm gonna show y'all very quickly or as quickly as I can, how I plan to log it as well. So I'm gonna put the ingredients in this crock pot and then I'll tell you how to log it. So here is the mix. Yeah, it's gonna be delicious. So this is it. I'm gonna put it on low for about four or five hours and we're gonna have it for dinner tonight. All right, so I know that a common concern for a lot of people who track their macros is how to log homemade recipes. So I, you guys just saw me put the soup together and I'm gonna show you all how I log it and how I would go about tracking something like this. If I were on a contest prep or needed to be very specific with my macros, I would track every single ingredient. But as far as like the garlic and the veggie broth and even the soup mix, this little dip mix, I'm not gonna bother tracking because there's like three carbs in there total. So it's not a huge deal to me. So how to create this recipe is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna have it for dinner. So I'm gonna hit dinner as if I'm gonna add food. You're gonna come over here to the recipe tab. We're gonna go down to the very bottom and hit add recipe. It's gonna ask you if you want to add ingredients from the web or if you wanna enter them manually. Since I have all the ingredients here, I'm gonna enter them manually and I'm gonna name the recipe. Let's do taco soup. What I usually do with things like this is I say that it's one serving. So everything is gonna go into one big recipe and then whenever I divvy it out later today, so say if I take, if I take a quarter of it, then I would just log one quarter of this entire recipe. It keeps it super simple because I don't feel like weighing it out beforehand. So I don't know how many servings there are gonna be. So I do one big serving and then I will portion it out from there and just do the fraction of whatever this total recipe is. And this is where we just add ingredients. And I just scan the cans. All right, so you guys can see I've got all the ingredients that I'm deciding to track on here. And it tells me that one serving, which is the entire pot is 1,000. 318 calories, which that's a big amount of volume. Our total macros for the entire recipe here, the entire pot is 8.2 fat, 269 carbs, and 57 grams of protein. So it's not, the macros aren't that bad. It's, of course, it's gonna be very, very carb heavy, but that's what I need. So hit save and log. Now is where I can decide how much I want. So let's say I'm going to do about one quarter one quarter of that entire recipe tonight, that's 67 carbs, 2.1 fat, 14.2 protein, 329 calories. It's a lot of volume and the macros aren't that bad. So I've already logged it and that's how you do it. Two, cares are two, 
So you guys saw me making my lunch. This is that bag of coleslaw with garlic and onion and then I stuck um, one half of a block of extra firm tofu. I did drain it first into the air fryer so it's nice and crispy and then I topped it with soy sauce. Alongside that I'm having something sweet because I like sweet with every meal. And this is my protein sludge so it's eight grams of pudding mix that I mixed together before putting anything else in there. Put that and then 43 grams of PB2. I accidentally added a lot. And a scoop of this chocolate coconut true nutrition protein. So I made some nice sludge. So I'm gonna eat this, take a break from some emails and enjoy lunch. So the soup turned out really, really good. I'm pretty excited about it. I put some um, beefless crumbles in here and then in mine I did light life Give me lean sausage and then a little bit of cheese on top of these. Just finished my water for the day, 3.40, and I'm working on my cycle playlist for Thursday's class. Oh yeah. But you ready? You ready, Miss? You wanna go see Roman? You wanna go see your cousin? Cool. Good boy. We're heading out to my brothers, uh, Parker and Jens in Austin, uh, the new Resident Evil game came out yesterday and we're gonna go, I'm gonna watch him play it. I don't know, you might play it, but I'm gonna we'll, go watch him we'll play watch it. Parker, yeah. And we're bringing soup, cause I made so much that we're gonna have soup with everybody and it's already pre-tracked and we're saving money by not eating out. But right now I'm gonna have a Lenny and Larry's oatmeal raisin cookie cause Lenny and Larry's are the bomb. Hey, that matches my jacket. So we're gonna, yeah, we'll see you guys over there. <laughs> was his first time on an elevator. Elf. Hi, <laughs> boys, <laughs> Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Is it that door over there? Buzz is so freaked out. <laughs> Guys, I'm finishing out my macros today with, it's about a little over half a serving. There's none left in there, but finishing off this box of Kashi chocolate crunch cereal, two tablespoons of peanut butter, 33 grams of chocolate PB2 into this wonderful bowl that looks like a mess, but is delicious. So that's going to be it for this full day of eating. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna head off to bed. It is pretty late. I will leave the macros right here. The totals for today will be right here for you guys. So, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I always ask that you guys hit that thumbs up if you do enjoy these videos. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys and I will see y'all on Wednesday.